Hey, Professor Ball, this is Rodney Johnson. I'm reporting on forgiveness and crime from a Christian worldview. My paper, just to kind of hit the highlights based on the questions that we had, um, is the role of Christian forgiveness in criminal law, uh, and then how do we hold, uphold our justice or uh, impose or support uh, our criminal justice um, system? The, the, I think that this comes down to, like I stated in my paper, that we have to understand that uh, humans are born into sin, but more importantly, that every human is made um, uh, or brought up in a different scenario. Um, some families are wealthy, some families are poor, their social status is different, but more importantly, that they um, have the right upbringing. Yes, you can come from a wealthy family, but if you are breaking the law and doing things that are illegal, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to go to jail. It just means that maybe you'll have a better lawyer than the poor guy. Um, I think when we look and we share that perspective, what we really need to understand is that we need to do a better job, no matter if we're poor or uh, rich, but really we need to cherish one another and empower one another and value one another. And that in the end, if we look at society as a whole and we stop taking things for granted, then we're going to be able to step back, look at things at 30,000 feet and be able to um, build each other up. But I think our society as a whole likes to do, uh, likes to take more than they give and they like to um, feel superior than, than others. And, and I think that's a cultural problem uh, here in America. Not necessarily saying the whole world does that, but if we're leading the forefront on prosperity and what the nation needs to look like, I can only imagine what the other worlds look like. And um, I appreciate your time and thank you. Uh, have a great week.